You're listening to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. It is Wednesday, December 4th. Pack the studio day. Pack the studio day. Because we're caroling. That's right. We're Christmas caroling. And my apologies to any of the purists who are uh, not singing any Christmas songs yet. I'll just apologize in advance. Uh, but that's what we're going to do today. Not because, not because we're just so excited about Christmas, but we want to put in your mind as a listener the value of Christmas caroling and give you some tips for Christmas caroling. So we are packing the studio today to do some Christmas caroling. Uh, is anybody in the studio a little bit excited about Christmas caroling this morning? Yeah. <laughs> We're thrilled. <laughs> we are delighted to have a, a nice, cozy studio. We've got some hot cider and cookies as well, because, you know, that's that's what invo- that's what you do when you, you do Christmas You have to kind of have hot cookies, cider and cookies and cider, otherwise Something warm it's to not drink. really that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin, for supporting the Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live uncommon. Uh, I have neglected to ask what coffee you were drinking the last couple of days. This is hot. Honduras. Honduras. It's okay. real good this morning. There you go, Pastor Smith. I did ask Sarah what coffee she was drinking today. Luther changed the, the grind size to a little bit more fine grind. It's It, it made it so much better this morning. We were all so concerned. I know. I know. Everyone was really concerned about how smooth my coffee was. Well, <laughs> We have to, to lead us today in our Christmas caroling. This all started with an article that our, our lovely Cheryl Magnus wrote last year on Christmas caroling. And so we have the Magnuses, Cheryl and Phil Magnus, in studio today to uh, to lead us and guide us in this Christmas caroling uh, adventure and to encourage you. Now, Cheryl, you wrote an article last year that sparked this idea of Christmas caroling. It's not a lost art. Maybe it started kind of tapered off, but we really should be Christmas caroling. And how has Christmas caroling been a part of your life and your family? Well, I always like to emphasize caroling at this time of year because I think singing is something that we're losing in our everyday life. And Christmas time is a great way um, to get people singing because even the shyest singers among us are usually ready to break out in song at Christmas time. So this is a way to, to get people singing and um, bring a little bit of the joy of the season to our neighbors. Absolutely. And Phil, you uh, you led us last year. What what should we start with? Let's start with something. Should we start with something simple? What's a good thing, a good carol to start off with How this year? How about Angels We Have Heard on High? All right. Very good. Now, Sarah, you have the pitch pipe. I do. And the uh, camera because we're on Live. Facebook Live. So I'm like triple tasking right now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And I just started the video. <laughs> First, the question is, are you going to give us dough or me? Give us it out. <laughs> it's not that complicated. <laughs> can be. <laughs> can be. Yeah, for me. But here we next shall see stay. Oh, first, first. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing all her things. And the mountains in reply, echo me their joyous strings. Now that was without warming up and without practicing together. So you can, it can be something really simple. Just gather a group of friends or a family or uh, friends from church and, and get out there and sing. What are some of the places that you've enjoyed Christmas caroling? Well, we have enjoyed Christmas caroling around our neighborhood, actually. Um, we haven't done it since moving to St. Louis, but for a number of years um, in our previous um, cities, we would um, gather some people from church and then just go around and knock on doors in our neighborhood. And most of the time, people would welcome us. Uh, on occasion, we had a few people say, no, thank you. Um, but most of the time, they're um, very happy to have some people singing at their front door. You get some pretty good stories when you go to your neighborhood. There's a it's great value to going to the nursing home and a done that with you know youth groups and, and with church groups but i like to just get people and 
knock on the doors of people that maybe you see once in a while mm -hmm. or never see before if you go far enough into the neighborhood. And so you get a mix of reactions, but when you do it repeatedly, then people start to expect it. Um, the last year we did this in Oklahoma, one neighbor uh, actually had the treats, the cider and the cookies, to like refresh <laughs> the carolers. And another guy slipped me a hundred dollar bill, <laughs> which I which I gave to the, which I gave to our pastor and you know for the church. The, the, neighbor, neighbor. <laughs> the neighbor that had treats for us actually set out tables with uh, tablecloths and ceramic china um, for us to have our treats on. So that was pretty special. Sorry, in the front yard. My favorite caroling memory is actually from high school. Mm -hmm. uh, we would go caroling at a furniture store. So our, our chamber nice. choir in high school, every year we'd go to the furniture store and like get to sit on the cushy, cushy couches. But then we got to sing for all of the people that were shopping for furniture during there the Christmas go. season, and it was fantastic. What a Super great fun. idea. I know. I remember <laughs> in, a similar story as well in high school. Uh, our high school choirs got to go Christmas caroling. It was, um, there was a special shopping day for, for older adults. And so we got to go Christmas caroling at a local store here in the St. Louis area and help out some of the older adults who were shopping that day. And we got to go Christmas caroling through the store as well. We Christ did some Christmas caroling in the front of the, the store. And then as we were walking around helping people shop, just singing as we were walking through the store. <laughs> a fun memory. Life is a musical. <laughs> that, 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 that's right. But I, I remember as, as a kid as well, Christmas caroling in the neighborhood and how fun that was. It was cold, um, which is, you know, always a, an important aspect of, of Christmas caroling. Quite often it's cold around here, unless you're in a part of the country where it's not cold. I don't know. Can you Christmas, car Christmas carol in parts of the country where it's not cold? There were some nights it wasn't that cold in Oklahoma. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> we did it anyway. I, we we want to sing some more, but I, I just want to say I love the furniture store. Um, back in the days when you had malls that, <laughs> that people would go to and spend a lot of time, that yeah. was another good place to carol. Mm -hmm. And then you could pass out tracks and, you know, and talk to people. One of the nice things about the neighborhood is, um, you know, I was inviting neighbors to come to church and, you know, with mixed success. And, and the, but then you, you, you bring the church to the neighbor. And so that continues the conversation. Very good. What would you like to sing next? Uh, how about Gentle Mary Laid Her Child? What note do you want? <laughs> how about a G? I can read the letters on my pitch pipe. Yay! Stanza one. Gentle Mary Laid Her Child in parts <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to sing in parts right. to go christmas yeah. caroling that's you, right <laughs> you, you don't have to but you certainly can <laughs> <laughs> and even when you sing in parts you can always walk away with a unison we wish you a merry christmas <laughs> <laughs> right. exactly. so we have a we have a fun crowd in the studio this morning who all do we have in the studio this morning your name and, and maybe what department or what area you work in here at the international center who do we have over here i'm aaron i'm in the international mission department uh, Melissa Corbett, I'm in accounting and payroll. <laughs> Cheryl Magnus, I'm the editor of Reporter. I'm Mark from KFUO Radio. Rachel Asbury from the Office of the President. Sydney Kendall from KFUO, Executive <laughs> Administrative Assistant. <laughs> Thank you all for being here today. This is a lot of fun. So I'm curious. You all have stories as well about Christmas caroling, memories from Christmas caroling in in the years gone by, not just last year here in the studio. Anybody have a fond memory of Christmas caroling? Um, we go every year to um, a nursing home in um, Fenton with some ladies that I grew up going to church with. And the reaction of the the people in the nursing home is just amazing, no matter how 
awful we think we sound because we always <laughs> practice before we go and we always go oh we sound so terrible but they absolutely love it and just to see their faces brighten up mm -hmm. when we come in is just it's very heartwarming and it's makes it all worth it so very good all right phil what would you like to to lead us in next I just want to say that going to the nursing home is such a blessing, um, especially for the um, older, uh, the seasoned citizens who are experiencing uh, dementia in various forms, because the parts of the brain that resonate with music, uh, research is showing it doesn't really suffer from Alzheimer's. And so one way that you can really get into and kind of awaken uh, someone who is in uh, later stages of dementia is to connect with their beloved music from their younger years and then it has this reflective rating around the brain. There's some there's some really cool stuff. You should probably, you know, have some interview with somebody on that some <laughs> other time. But uh, yeah, how about um, how about Hark the Herald Angels Sing? We got two stanzas here. Should we sing one in unison just for the sake of unison and sure. then go to harmony? Sure. Let's do that. Let's do let's do the two stanzas. One in unison, and then we'll go to harmony. And it's a little high, and I know it's going to drive Cheryl up the wall because she has perfect pitch. <laughs> but Cheryl, can we do this in F? Okay. Okay. What note would you like? How about an F? Ooh, that's the note that doesn't work. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Glory to the newborn king. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild. God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise. Join the triumph of the skies. With the angelic host proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord. In time, behold him come, offspring of the virgin's womb. Fail in flesh the God and sea, hail the incarnate deity. Pleased as man with man to dwell, Jesus only man you Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. St. Paul's Lutheran Church de Pere invites you to a service of sacred music featuring St. Paul's choirs, handbells, and orchestra on Saturday, December 7th at 5 p.m. and Sunday, December 8th at 4 p.m. Pre-service music will begin 20 minutes before the program. May your hearts be filled with peace and joy as you hear the word of God proclaimed in word and song, the Savior Jesus Christ was born for you. Welcome back to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. We're having too much fun in the studio today. We are. And you got your pitch pipe working now. I have a pitch pipe in one hand and Facebook Live in the other, so what could go wrong? <laughs> How do you hold your coffee then? I... I can't. It's really sad. <laughs> we are Christmas caroling in the studio today because Christmas caroling, as we just learned, is good for you, too. It's healthy. Uh, it keeps the, the brain sharp, um, and uh, what you learn in music stays in the brain and isn't nearly uh, affected by some of those uh, the diseases, like as we were talking about dementia as well. So what a great way to connect with so many people, uh, no matter what their, their stage in life is as well. So we've been singing some Christmas carols. Uh, we, the last one we sang both, we sang in unison and then some harmony as well. But as you pointed out earlier, Cheryl, you don't always have to sing in harmony. If you're, you know, you can simply sing in unison as well, if that's, uh, what your, your group is gifted with. So what are we going to sing next, Phil? Oh, come all ye faithful. Oh, come all ye faithful. Two stanzas, one and two. What note would you like? How about a G? I can give you a G. <laughs> 
singing all these carols and I know all of us really love music obviously because you're here um, <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of us maybe have a favorite carol or a favorite memory associated with a carol um, my favorite one has to do with cheese and the dairy uh, past three <laughs> o'clock that is my personal favorite from my high school caroling what? days what was that again past three o'clock it's the, you get to sing about cheese and the dairy I don't know cheese and the dairy bring they for Mary but not for <laughs> money, butter, or honey. I don't know. <laughs> it's in a caroling book, I promise. Perhaps it's not as popular of a carol as it's, it is where you grew up. Maybe. That is entirely Does anyone possible. Is anyone else familiar with this carol? No. no. Oh, man. <laughs> that is just sad. You're special. Sam. Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm curious if any of you have favorite memories of caroling or favorite stories about caroling that we can share with our listeners. Well, my my department, we just had our Christmas party yesterday wherein we went to Chevy's, the oh. Mexican restaurant, oh, and right. it has become our tradition that we always finish the Christmas party by singing Christmas carols, so we had brought a guitar. It was perhaps a bit surprising to the rest of the restaurant because we did not have a private room. <laughs> but we carried on and <laughs> worked our way through probably four or five Christmas carols. And it, they're one of those things. I don't know if we actually had anyone join us uh, because we were all pretty pretty much enjoying our, our own company. But <laughs> Christmas carols are ones that people just know them by heart without even really trying. Uh, so perhaps... Perhaps some of the some of the other patrons or workers there actually joined in on a couple of them. What a great opportunity for a witness. And if you all didn't recognize that voice, that's the voice of Aaron Alter from the Lutheran Ladies Lounge. It's I'm true. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have half of the Lutheran Ladies Lounge here today. We and we did have a caroling episode that we recorded mm -hmm. that we'll actually release next week. And I'm sure if, if Rachel were in the building, she'd be in the studio today. She would. We, I don't think virtual caroling would work as well. We tried that. <laughs> um, it's a big failure. It did not work <laughs> well at all. It was There was a lag. A There's a lot of, a, of disturbing notes, actually. <laughs> a lot of disturbing notes. <laughs> All right. Well, think about your stories while we go on to our next carol. What would you like well, to sing have, next? We have one more in here. We Shall we go ahead with it? I think we have enough time okay, for well, probably two more. Yeah. Twice. Okay, right. that's okay. Well, all right, well, we can move to Epiphany then, since we end with Silent Night. Why don't we sing As With Gladness? Yay. Wait, no, wait, you like... 
Another G, please. Okay. <laughs> it's your favorite note today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about one and four? Four is such a lovely prayer. Holy Jesus, every day, keep us in the narrow way. And when earthly things are past, bring our ransomed lives should be souls, ransom souls at last, where they need no star to guide, where no clouds thy glory hide. So, how about that G again? <laughs> Evermore your splendor see, as with gladness men of old did the guiding star <laughs> we should sing more epiphany carols, I think. We had have a special we epiphany, epiphany session. We should just have an epiphany yeah. caroling, mm -hmm. like round two, <laughs> just go back out in the neighborhoods. On this day. Or yeah, summer. exactly. <laughs> There's so many good epiphany carols. There are. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, 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 I remember oh. one of my memories uh, uh, surrounding the holidays um, was from my wonderful congregation in in uh, Waco, Texas, St. Paul Lutheran Church in Belmead. Uh, a wonderful family there had a 12th day of Christmas party. Yes. So we looked uh, toward Epiphany and celebrating the, the, the 12th day of Christmas and, and Epiphany as well. You know, because the, the season, um, particularly December, is just chock full of parties. So busy. And then we get to the 12th day of Christmas and for many people, the tree is down and, and Christmas is over, but... Uh, the, uh, exactly. Yeah, we keep the tree up in our. Everybody's our like, tree no. is up till like, Ash Wednesday. Ash yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm with you on that one. Well, for those who would love a 12th night celebration, if you are in South Wisconsin, the Milwaukee area, I'll be leading an Epiphany Eve hymn fest at St. John's in North Prairie, St. John's Lutheran Church, North Prairie, Wisconsin, on Sunday night, January 5th. Have fun. So Very good. Out, I think I think Hope Lutheran in St. Louis also has something going on for. Epiphany. We have, but I have to look it up on Facebook really fast. Just <laughs> under a minute left. What would we like to sing to go out Silent with? Silent night. Of course. Silent night. Would you like another G? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fooling you. Actually, that's the first note. I know. <laughs> that's the key of C. That's okay. Here we are. Uh, first, we only have forty-five seconds now. How about one stanza? <laughs> Sleep in heavenly peace. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin, mother and child, Thank you all for being here today and for uh, getting us in the caroling mood and ready to get out and get Christmas caroling. Thanks, everybody, and uh, God bless you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.